Hey guys, we got a great show for you today with our special guest, Miles Bonsignore. That's right, funny, funny boy on the show today. And also, don't forget to check out our wonderful Patreon over at patreon.com slash dynamic banter. We got skits and bits and extra stuff, whole new podcast, and we've got a bunch of really goody, good, good goodies coming up. And now on with the show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you, uh, let me ask you this. Do you like that much milk in the coffee? They, what are your thoughts on milk? They put, they said, do you want milk in the <laughs> coffee? A and single I said, shot sure. espresso and a gallon of milk. What it's you mostly, know? that's like a glass of milk. Well, I do drink I'm whole, recording. I do drink whole at my home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just sliding, sliding that so discreetly. Um, Why don't you get closer to that? Hey, you want me to go here? No, you're great. No, you're, you're perfect. Great. Sorry, you're you perfect. just told me to get closer to it. I did. <laughs> yeah. Said, no, no, you're great. You were perfect that. before you did it. Right here. I'm seeing my levels right now. It's uh, see that I'm peeking. I please don't peek at the levels. I'm taking. Sorry, you don't want me to. <laughs> don't take a peek <laughs> don't. at the levels. I would rather you not take a peek at the levels. Hey, so you, you like that much else? milk or no? Well, I'll tell you about the milk I like. Go ahead. So. I'll drink, I'll, I'll sit down to have a piping glass of cold, whole. Whole, still, as a man. Home. As a man. <laughs> as a grown man. Wait, wait, wait. So I thought you were making this like, <laughs> as a man? Yeah. Like, women are allowed <laughs> to have milk in the home. <laughs> women and pussy bitches drink milk. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> I don't know very many men who drink milk. I only know well, pussy bitches, and we're drinking, we well, meet up I on wouldn't Tuesdays say that. Drink you milk. guys are calcium deficient. I don't want to assume our guest is a pussy bitch. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, say, say, I'll this. say right now. Happy to be. <laughs> Reclaiming well, the word. Well, this is one of those alpha cats. Cat. So you're going to have to fucking dial it back. No, I'll say this, dude. When I yeah. was in grade school, I my mom would pack me a thermos. Of milk. And it would be full to the brim with milk and ice. And the kids would make fun of me for putting ice in My it. mom oh, would pour the milk into the lunchbox. <laughs> and so I had the lunchbox. <laughs> You'd lap it up like a kitty. <laughs> And then you would ask permission to eat your sandwich fast or yeah. it would smell. It would nice. leak everywhere. I often, yeah, I'll have a milk at home. I'll put it in a little mason jar. Oh, that's Whoa. nice. And I'll have PBJ. I would say that 90% of my days are peanut butter jelly whole. Yeah. Milk. We should we, can, we should explore this. Yeah, because it's really a lot of what I do. I'll sit down at my desk and I'll be so excited to just get into a PBJ. <laughs> Do you feel <laughs> thinking about it all day? I will get excited. I'll be like, like oh man, I've got that fuck. nice peanut butter, not the Trader Joe's bullshit. Not you that know, me- that oily garbage. No, get that me, oily me. peanut butter out of it's here. It's only oily at the beginning and I mix it and I damage my I'm wrist. I'm sick of mixing it. I'm sick of breaking knives. Yeah. <laughs> You're breaking, you do it with a plastic I'm Cause I'm angry. I'm so cause I'm angry. Wedding yeah. knives. <laughs> To make a sandwich. I can't do it anymore. I don't want... Them. I need my 80s... 75% microplastic. <laughs> yeah, dude. Skippy ass I crunchy like, peanut butter. Oh, you're like going skippy. Sorry. Oh, well, put the coaster honestly, on the ground. No, put the coaster on the ground. Can I say? <laughs> I, I'm a Peter Pan boy. Pee-pee? I'm what? a pee-pee boy. <laughs> pee-pee boy. <laughs> Okay, brave. I'm a little bit of a pee-pee boy. Oh, li- <laughs> By the way, I just, and can I just say this? Love seeing a stream deck with just a billion buttons. Dude, you yeah. want to press one? I would love to. It Go is it. customary for the guest to pick. Oops. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that, was d- that one does Didn't hear anything. That one has Some of them expire <laughs> after that. <laughs> Try a different one. Try a different one. Can we go in there? <laughs> That's super too, dude. One more, we kick you off the show. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that, was, that was the whole button. <laughs> well, it's... It's part of the dynamic, ba- the old dynamic banter theme. You have old sound effects on there. One of them's like oh, a voicemail that's mean. <laughs> to, okay. to keep us in our place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, there's going to be a better button for you later. Something oh, yeah. a little more satisfying. Okay. We'll get there. All right. It's got to be an ejector but, um, <laughs> Can I say, I, I did really love Peter Pan's peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think it's around anymore. Is it around? What? 
It, it is? is. It is. Yeah, for sure. I felt like it kind of was it. Skippy, P P P, and Jif all were kind of the same company. It, it, much like the entertainment industry, they all bought each other, maybe, and are owned maybe. by the same guy. Yeah. Well, now they're all diverse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I think I'm a Skippy guy in my older days. I, like I haven't Skippy. had that in a while, but it's a dessert PP for sure. It certainly is. It's yeah. like <clears throat> might as well get Nutella. Yeah, what's the difference they, of that? There is yeah. no difference other than there's nuts. Calorically, up there's no it. difference. They did for a while try to convince people that Nutella was actually nice for you to have. I do remember, yeah. that. remember that. I did cling I on to that. I hate when they do that. <laughs> it's like it's milk packed with protein. <laughs> it's so <Like> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All these generations live through shit like that. Like cigarettes used to be like a medic medical Nutella aid. Nutella was our cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? It certainly was. That and ketamine. <laughs> ketamine yeah. is our cigarettes also. Uh, so, yeah. are we man children? Uh, that's interesting. And is that, I think the term probably comes out of uh, the mid-2000s. When Family Guy was at its peak. Uh -huh. <laughs> the audience loves Family Guy on this we show. We love him, Stewie, uh -huh. Brian, Griffin. So. Can I do my Peter Griffin? <laughs> yeah, please. Hey, hey, how are you? <laughs> Very good. Can I, let me work up. Let that's me work nice, up a little good. bit. We'll, all, we'll go around and we'll do it. Hey, we'll do it. How are you? Hey, okay. everyone's trying to say, hey, how are you? Okay, okay. That's his catchphrase. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> hey, how are you? Okay, second best right now. Hey, how are you? Okay. Hey. Hey, how are you? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> hey, how are you? I like, we've talked about this ad nauseum, yeah. I think, back in the day. I like when cartoon characters are like soft and subtle. <clears throat> Me too. And I like when they do like small, um, small like stuttering. When oh, the, it's nice. When the yeah. South Park characters started being like, eh, well, I don't know oh, about that. Oh, it's great. Like, Dude, that little yeah. it, yeah, is, that's my favorite. I feel everything. like that came it really from like humanizes the cartoon. Didn't it, it feel does. like the Flash cartoon shit from like the old like uh, Newgrounds, Newgrounds days oh, sure. and shit? Like yeah. started the like this is how we talk with our pals kind of Flash animation. Yeah. Shit. Figures that are like up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Through. Yeah. The other day, my buddy was doing that. Um, Swifty Super Mario <laughs> Twins. <laughs> Yeah, they look so goddamn like the same person. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Like Homestar Runner. <laughs> yeah. Dude, big yeah. fan. Big but are we man now. children? <laughs> You're really. Like, is this something you, you, you lay awake last night? Well, because I was thinking about how you, a grown man, say you're drinking milk. Yeah. yeah. And eating Skippy or just eating peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah. And I was like, I like Skippy's peanut butter and yeah. I like my little toys and sounds and shit. You know what it is? We don't have to go to war anymore. Yeah. yeah. So there's like a less of a standard for what it means to be a gentleman. And we <laughs> really hit the sweet spot as far as the draft is concerned. We did yeah. hit the sweet spot. We didn't injured ourselves right in the, at the right time. Yeah. Also, I'll say this. We live in a very childish where people aren't forced to grow up spot in the world in Los yeah. Angeles. Also, we have grown up responsibilities. We pay our taxes, Kevin. Yeah. Looking Kevin. at Kevin. It's Kevin up paying his taxes. Kevin. Well, refuses. he's back. He's back on track now. Kevin's yeah. not his real name to be totally honest with Kevin you. owes the government a lot All of money. Oh, Kevin. All of them. You know what I'll say is, when the money comes into my business now, I just take 25% of it and yep. put it into the savings. Yeah, have to. Oh, that's smart. I'm like, let me Very just smart. overcorrect, yes. and I know I'll have it. I don't ever want to be- Is 25% overcorrecting? Because I've been like doing 20. half for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been scraping crazy. by to make sure oh. I don't go to jail. <laughs> that's good. Half is crazy. Do you have an LLC? Uh, yes. Yeah, but I'm half. about to do corporation. Ooh. I think unless- It makes more sense to do corporation, because I'm getting absolutely- oh. Hashtag boned. Ass fucked ass well, by the government. If it's for me, I think that the, the, the unless you're making, I mean, I don't know what you make. You don't know what I'm making. Well, let's talk let's about, about let's all talk about right how much we make for 50%, I think it's like, <laughs> it's like you would, uh, we, we'd be doing this not in the valley, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And there would be more than one room that looked like this. I think, can I tell you something? Yeah. I think I would be in Greece getting my dick sucked. If we're talking by a consenting by adult. I, I would certainly hope so. The fact that you had to clarify damage. Just, just I, I, I would first. certainly fucking hope so. Also, I'll say this about the idea of man children. We are also 
to a certain extent, and this is absolutely um, to each their own, but we're artists to a certain yeah. extent. Yeah. We're comedians to a certain extent. Sure. And I think the thing that keeps you good at that is having um, at least a small percentage of childlike wonder about the world and yeah. the ability to act without uh, much shame. Yes. But do you think that we're gripping our youth? <laughs> I think I've got that gorilla grip. <laughs> That's what I'm youth. saying. That is what sound that makes me. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. I think, uh, you know what I'll say? Um, not only am I a man child, I have a child Whoa. man. Wow. So, what, so what's that guy to you? So that's a good point. <laughs> I, I think it's also that like, I, uh, to me, to be an artist of any kind, you have to have a sense of curiosity and humility mm -hmm. about sure. the things that you do. And I think that's now like, for our, my grandpa, it would have been embarrassing if he liked like a child's cartoon. Yeah. Right. But for me, I'm like, no, I love like animation. Like, right. It's really yeah. cool. Right. And it doesn't embarrass. If you me. ask us, we're like, hey, how are you? Is it okay? <laughs> Is it okay? Hey, how are hey. you? Is hey, it? Because like, we're, I feel like we're the first generation. Not to lump you in with these old guys, because you well, seem like yeah. a young gentleman. I'm a young, but I'm 19. No, okay. How old are you? <laughs> how old are you guys? I just turned 42. Yeah. Okay, sure. I, I just turned 30. Okay. Whoa, get the fuck out of here. Hey. My house. Hey. So, out of here, my house specifically. <laughs> specifically. Uh, but we, you know, like, Mike and I. Yes. We remember. Other times. <laughs> well, you guys are also, you're maybe on the cusp of, you were like early internet adopters creators. That's what I'm we saying. were the first. So, but, you were the first guys. But we were also the first <laughs> that were subjected to, like, the ultra. Uh, consumerism yeah. days yeah. where they would like say like you're the stupidest shit on the playground if you don't have this fucking frisbee. We have the right. most bitch. microplastics in our body. Yeah. yeah, but we're the first generation that grew up with the like ultra advertising consumerism advertising, yeah. and so I think that it, it it programmed us to hang on to those ideas. Well, yeah. every generation as an adult is a little bit different than the ones that came before them this is insane. <laughs> I'll, so I'll come, to Scribber, come to Scribbard University <laughs> where you can learn how to be the not a man child but a child a man, child man. <laughs> I will also say that I don't long for like I think about my <laughs> college life and about how some people view college as like that was the best four years of my life and I'd yeah. give anything to go back there. I've never since graduation once thought I'd give anything to go back. Oh, I wouldn't either, but I think that's also because we have um, more fun careers than a Cooler lot of Cooler lives. Have. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess. Like, yeah, yeah. If sorry. I was working at IBM and I was selling insurance and I hated everybody and my life felt like it was like gripping me into the underworld, you then I'd probably be like, man, I wish... I had less responsibility and was able to just kind of like learn art. Right. But think of what a nice life you have. Oh, it's amazing. To I'm also so be an adult and to have a child and still have a fun job. Oh, that's it's like great. I feel completely lucky every day that I'm able to. Yeah, that's, <laughs> fucking, that's yeah. completely right. That is right. No, I do think about it all the time. I'm like, uh, are you know how like sometimes um, like billionaire psychopaths will be like, I live in a simulation. I'm like, I guess if I was you, I would also think that. Yeah, you right. Live. Yeah, yeah, right. you live in a simulation. That makes sense for, for you to for think. For sure. That. But doesn't yeah. weird <laughs> shit happen to you that makes you feel like, well, how could that have happened? Or like, what are yeah. these weird connections I have with people? Like, yeah. how did I get this specific life? Oh, you know? no, that is like, yeah, it's like total random chance. Of right, like right. The things like what started my career trajectory was like I went to college with a girl who then was working at BuzzFeed at a time when I was unemployed and totally fucking up in New York. And she was like, you should like apply to this internship. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And <laughs> the fact that that happened, like kind of launched the rest of it. Whoa, yeah. And if that yeah. hadn't happened, I would probably, I would be doing something totally different. What you did know, you, sorry. Yeah. No, go ahead. Let's ask him the question at the same time. Well, what did I was you just like about that, BuzzFeed? Like, and what did you I don't absolutely really, hate about like, it? Like, it's not a problem. <laughs> I don't know what you <laughs> You ended it with it's not a problem, so I'm like, I guess I don't have to address it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah okay, like, well, I, I kind of just had a statement more than a question. <laughs> Let me ask you something. I'm really awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we're we're all fine with that. Yeah, we're we'll good. Uh, what did I like and hate about this? I mean, well, I was I was there for six months. I did like the junior fellowship, and then I did the quote unquote senior fellowship, which was like I was basically crew on videos, and I uh, shot one video, and then I shot a video every week in the senior fellowship for like three months. So I was there for six months total, and then at the end of the program, I like my numbers were good, and I thought they were gonna hire me, and then they killed the program and didn't hire anyone. Right. Damn. And so because they, you never did the internal test about which Disney princess you. Were. I didn't do. I, I well, I know it was that I did it, and I got Snow White. <laughs> oh. And they were hiring her. At the time. Goodbye, too yeah. sleepy. We've got plenty of Snow White. Yeah, plenty too many Snow Whites. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, but no. So I I liked it a lot. It was kind of an extenuation of content grad school, but mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, the social dynamics felt like high school where there is a popularity hierarchy yeah um but uh yeah i don't know i, I liked it for what it. it was at the age that i was yeah but i'm glad that like, i like we don't want to go months. back no. like i'm not trying to go back that's oh, the thing would, about yeah. this man child <laughs> thing is yeah. like i don't think i'm trying to go back to yeah. anything sure. but, you're trying to pause but there's feelings that i had as a child that i sort of get a flicker of yeah when I see like a new Ghostbusters movie is coming out or like another fucking Marvel or another fucking Star Wars or whatever. Are these positive or negative? They're positive. Yeah. I get a little like tinge of, man, when I was a kid, I wanted this. I wanted to see all this shit. And that is a, the joy of now with uh, my son's only 17 months old, but I'm like, I can't wait till he's like a little older. Yeah. And watch like some Hayao Miyazaki Studio Ghibli movies. Maximum Overdrive. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we can watch slasher movies. Slasher now. movies, yeah. <laughs> so funny to be 17 months and to have like, to think of, about having nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like if your son's first words were like, you remember Bluey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You baby shark. Of, whatever yeah. happened to baby shark? Bluey was <laughs> awesome. Actually, what happened to that guy? Where is baby <laughs> shark now? He overdosed. Baby yeah, shark what now. To <laughs> yeah, baby shark got canceled. Oh, Damn, man. dude. Um, and that's the thing. Like even YouTube is someone's nostalgia. Like yeah. YouTube oh, absolutely. shows is an entire generation's nostalgia. Yeah. And we're riding the motherfuck out of it. Dude, so can I? Uh... But I also think, I don't know, that's that's where we might differ a little bit because I don't I'm not think, saying it's what drives us or it is what we are. But even I'm like making stuff little. now, mm -hmm. I don't, I think about it as an evolution of what we started as. Sure. And what we started as on the internet. Dude, I, I was literally, I got to find this because I was taking notes about this the other day. I, I want to... Sometimes I'll write stand up about stuff mm -hmm. and then I'll see that joke on like a daily show clip or whatever. Motherfucker. I'll be like, that's what that's what happened. <laughs> Everyone writes jokes about stuff. So I try to keep the jokes like super duper personal. Oh, and yeah. there's nothing more personal to me than Easy Does It than to <laughs> He's talking. Than do, being like a 40 year old YouTuber. Right? Yeah. So yeah, I wrote course, some notes and I want to read to you the note. These aren't jokes yet. These are just observations. Okay, great. I love it. I love it. I came up on the internet at a time that would go on to inspire the next generation to pursue careers on the internet. Mm -hmm. So that is to say, like, I started on YouTube in 2006. Mm -hmm. In 2009 is when the partner program started. So literally the inception of like, making money right. via videos on the internet. I, I was part of that. We were part of that yeah. in SourceFed, all this yeah. shit. I'm not saying I paved the way personally for anyone. I'm saying I was part of the first wave of people who are able to transition into a career in entertainment from the internet. Mm -hmm. Me and Bo Burnham. Only. <laughs> Just <laughs> It says all that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen these notes. That's crazy. And you, are you looking, by the way, you said these aren't just ideas, and you're looking for us to kind of zing. We're going to throw no, no, a no. punch. We're and not all, looking, and all I got was we're... this t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Point nice. Point at me that's when it good. becomes a t-shirt. <laughs> um, okay. So, and then I think that feeling of putting something on the internet and being viral mm -hmm. kind of became a commodity and then TikTok came along and literally you could be anyone with a phone, make something yeah. on the internet and have the same feeling that we might have had back in the day. <laughs> it's like a fame simulator. It's a fame simulator. Definitely. Because it doesn't always translate to like now those people are your audience. You just feel what it's like to have a million eyes at you right. at one time. And then I said, part of me feels responsible. Audience is, audience is 
They wanted us to know that they were there. They're yeah. in, but they know I'm not done. Um, so yeah, you could be absolutely anyone with a TikTok a TikTok account TikTok. and feel TikTok. Like, <laughs> welcome to TikTok, and feel what it's like to be uh, watched by a million people. Part of me feels responsible for that, and sure. I guess I'm sorry. Yeah. I, in a very small way, helped pave the way for the digital influencer, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. In my very own small way, I'm saying that when I said this video is brought to you by audible.com, it's the reason why Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson, sponsored by Prime Energy Drink, and I'm yes. sorry. You, you started it. <laughs> You were the first Maverick before Logan Paul. I mean, I not wouldn't say just part of the first class yes, of yeah. that people. You so were, it was yeah. not me. You were part of it. Yeah. Yes. And and I was part of it. Yeah. And you were part of it. And I was a part of it in my uh, middle school bedroom watching yeah. YouTube. Watching. Yeah. When YouTube looked different. You enabled us. Well, I was definitely like on the, uh, yeah, because as a middle schooler, I guess it's sort of, I remember my dad was like, Miles, come down here. There's a website where you can watch any live music performance. <laughs> <laughs> The anyway. Eagles, any year. He was like, any Eagles, any year. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And I was like, okay. And he was, no, he was like, him and his friend being like, any live music, it's all on there. I was like, this is a site for live music? Like, what yeah. is this? And then I started watching like college humor stuff a little bit later. Yeah. And uh, at the time, probably like Shane Dawson. Yeah. yeah. Like, really early Shane Dawson stuff. Um, and yeah, no, that was why I wanted to move to New York was because I saw college humor stuff and I was like, oh, that could be a job. Yeah, yeah, dude. So you're who I'm talking about. Well, no, it's kind of a funny, I mean, obviously we both work with HeadGum, but I'm like, I have come full circle in that thing where I watched Jake and Amir when I was a dude, little kid same. and yeah. was like loving that mm -hmm. stuff and then uh, moved to New York, didn't work with them at all and then came here. and then Dude, you know it. what's really funny about working with Jake and Amir? I feel like I see Amir at basketball, so that's where we have. Oh, you're on his team. Friendship. No, we're sworn enemies. Oh, so but we're sides in the same the room West at the same story. time. Yeah, playing. Let's get him on the phone. Let's get him on. <laughs> <laughs> see, on my show, I do take. Calls. So I was like, oh, okay, oh, you're, you're like they must have it. Oh, they must have it. This is all free. We planned. literally have a little phone and sound in yeah. the soundboard. Oh. I will say this before we pick up the phone. Yeah. I feel like we are like if Headgum was a house. <laughs> I feel like we're we're locked in the attic. We're in the attic. And they yeah. forget about us, and then they're like, fuck, we should slice yeah, some mashed potatoes not, on the river. Yeah, <laughs> we're not creepy basement. No, yeah, we're, we're not creepy we're upstairs, attic. Yeah. We're stuck in the attic. You yes. hear footsteps And we're upstairs. losing yeah. our minds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. Is this the mayor? Mm. Oh, sometimes we have a direct line oh, to the amazing. mayor. That's awesome. Hi, the mayor. I'm just playing golf with my mistress. Got my dick sucked. Hi. That's cool, I guess. Mayor, we, we got our friend Miles here on hey, the show. Miles Davis, big friend. Not Miles Davis. No, not Miles Davis. Davis. I got I all the records. What's up? I got all the records. I love what you did for the movement. Well, for anyway, movement? Uh, yeah. Miles, if you have any questions for the mayor, this is a this is an opportunity, yeah, a big opportunity to ask a political question, maybe, oh, or, this is or cool. whatever. I mean, it's just whatever you got. What do you got for the mayor? <laughs> what do you got for the mayor? Uh, I guess I'm like uh, the price of food. It seems kind of high at the grocery store. That's yeah, true. Not for me. I'm not mayor. <laughs> he's the he's <laughs> enough for you. Okay, <laughs> classist kind of. Right before the election, too. Yeah, you're saying that. <laughs> I feel like I went outside your house for a protest. If you're kind of, oh, that was you, huh? Okay, well, if you're kind of in a tough spot, you know, and have food, I suggest being a man. <laughs> you think other people yeah, should? Oh, are you getting a call? <laughs> It's always nice to have him on. It's nice. It's really I can't nice. believe we have the privilege of talking to the mayor so much. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Did you guys know? Way to, take it, way to seize the moment and ask the hard hard questions. That was good. <laughs> you really it. cornered it. Oh, I just feel like, you know, he's in public office. He works for me. Well, this ain't a right. puff piece. Yeah, this ain't a fucking puff piece. <laughs> what do you think this is, Voltaire? Come on. <laughs> what are your top TV shows? Did you guys know? This ain't a puff piece. <laughs> this ain't a fucking puff This ain't a puff piece. This is a fucking hard hitting <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Uh, I, did you guys know that Hello Kitty is not a cat? She's a <laughs> British third grader. What? What the fuck? No way. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. She yeah. just looks like a cat. Like... She looks fucked up. <laughs> Isn't that insane? It's really crazy. Explain. You want more? Of course. Where did this come Let's... from? I was just looking on the internet for something that might be an interesting conversation starter. Right? Were you not invested <laughs> in any of like that? Did you feel like this pirate? is going bad? <laughs> No, I just thought this would was, was a perfect moment to let you know yeah. that I was looking at something else. 
<laughs> no, I have this queued up, motherfucker. Hello Kitty. So this is important to me. She's a third grader? Hello Kitty is not a cat. Okay. That is kind of alarming. Who can we call about this? Let's find out. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Mayor? He's gone. I think he's gone. He left. It's a bummer. Um, well, yeah, I guess... Hey, hello, Kitty. So a human third grader? The entertainment company Sanrio, Sanrio, behind the Hello Kitty brand, recently revealed the character is not feline. I mean, she, I guess she walks like a person. Dude. Despite being called Kitty, it turns out the famous cartoon is actually a little girl and, in fact, isn't even Japanese. <laughs> she is from the Bronx. She's not Japanese. She's not Japanese. She's British. Yeah, what the fuck She's is that about? She's British. Are there other characters in the Hello Kitty universe? Like, does yeah. Yeah. Kitties, she yes. hang out? Yes. Sanrio <laughs> has a ton of characters. There's, like, uh, bat, is cat. A dog? There's a dog. There's like a dog. Penguin. Oh, really? They're, they're all animals. I mean, they're adorable. Horrible boys. It's sure. Like Neopets. You gotta peep your eyes on them. They're very cute. Okay. And uh, it says here, according to the Sanrio website, Kitty White is oh. Hello Kitty's full Shut name. Shut it down. Kitty White? <laughs> Shut it down. That's fucking tough. Is a British schoolgirl who was, quote, born in the suburbs of London. What the fuck? <laughs> That's crazy. She's so popular in Japan. <laughs> Kitty White is so popular. I thought her name was Hello. Hi. First name. Last name Kitty. Sure. <laughs> and Big Bird is a 45 year old man. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Adult man. He's hanging out with all these adults. That's like how Elmo is supposed to be like, he's one. Yeah. And he's hanging out with all these adults. It, it, he is a little little boy. Elmo's been one for 30 years. I know. Elmo won for all. Elmo never. Elmo never get old. Elmo never get old. Elmo never pay taxes. Anyway, Elmo Kitty's a little girl, you motherfucker. That's crazy. And what are we supposed to do with it? I don't know. Me? It's crazy. I can do a piping hot sort of zinger on that. And all I got was this t-shirt. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah, that's nice. I like where that ended up. Mike and I have been trying to make clippable moments. Was that what that was? I don't think so. You no, think that Hello think Kitty... That are you kidding me? Hello Kitty is a fucking... Is a world renowned popular brand. Popular I like brand. this. So you're looking for clippable moments. Um, yeah, I guess maybe we could just sort of generate some right here. Yeah. yeah. AI, right, cool. AI, AI, yeah. AI, yeah. AI, AI, AI can't do this. Charlie D'Amelio? Guys, oh. you hear about this? I don't know who that is. Who's so Charlie don't, D'Amelio? You don't know who Charlie D'Amelio is? Okay, Kevin's loving it. Uh, Kevin knows? Keep on, man. Is Keep he? On. Yeah, chef. Charlie D'Amelio, I can't believe it. <laughs> but Charlie D'Amelio is on the bear. No, wow. Charlie D'Amelio is like. <laughs> the most popular TikToker. Okay. Uh, she does okay. stances. She was popular since she was like a kid. And then her family have a reality show on Hulu. Okay. okay. And is she, and she's the big, it, she's an it girl, is what you're saying. I think this is a good time. Time. No, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm talking about like, this is it. She's an it girl. <laughs> she's in, no, Charlie D'Amelio is an it girl. And she dances and she does all kinds of stuff. She and gets, you're never going to believe this. And what? is there controversy? She's a biological she's a cat. cat. <laughs> yeah, she's, a, she's a third grade biological cat. <laughs> born in London. the streets of London. <laughs> see? You see? It is. If you go with it long, if you refuse to give up on the bit. Yeah, there you go. It will I be a five minute clip. That yeah. I would, I think I would blow your mind <laughs> with the numbers <laughs> around <laughs> San Rio. And Hello Kitty. Uh -huh. How much? I mean, it's a billion dollar industry. Billion. Cold. Absolutely. <laughs> what is and that? this is this is oh, cold. Yeah, cold. And this is a cold. No, yeah, I did. That's a billion dollar industry. Cold. No, that's what I said. What oh yeah. <laughs> Those finances that's a billion are dollars cold. Like we're not even talking about warming up. Like they're frozen all funds. The subsidiary companies. We're not even thawing out the billion. No, we're not thawing out the beast. Like I'm telling you, that's cold. Like There's, that's the cold yeah, offer. Yeah, sure. We're not adding in this sort of packaging fee. We're right. Not adding in. I right. mean, they just yeah. That's a big corporation. I think that this could blow up. This clip could blow <laughs> the fuck up. I'm like in a, those communities where they love those little girls from you, Britain. Oh, those little <laughs> girls like Helen. <Hello> <laughs> this is making the clip community. Those girls. 
He's the clip community. He's oh, going to go oh, wild. Did you see the clip of that? <laughs> um, dude, so do the people who are obsessed with Hello Kitty know that? Is this No, I don't think they know yes, this. They did. I saw a Reddit post no. like from 2014. Whoa, <laughs> they loved it. Yeah, but you know what, man? Don't tell me. <laughs> to the clip of a moment from 11 years. Yeah. Well, you know what, Mike? <laughs> Mike, it's funny. I get it. I see the humor in it. But you've seen TikTok revive Vine shit yeah. and old school shit all the time. You're like, how did people not fucking know this? Yeah. And yeah. you go to the comments and people are like, this is blowing my mind. Did you know the moon landing was fake? No. Easy. Buzz Aldrin is a five-year-old cat. Buzz That's Lightyear. <laughs> Dude, like people, do, like you tell people people that the honeycomb bee the voice of the honeycomb bee wow. is also the voice of fry from futurama <laughs> and the tiktok kids will go nuts going crazy <laughs> two million views that's million two million views, views at least <laughs> you remember honeycomb cereal it's fry so it's even fry. if this is from fucking 15 years ago 20 years ago five years ago one week ago I we like could that. put this shit up on the internet, blow out clip. <laughs> Dude, I can't, wait, I can't wait to screenshot the fact that this got <laughs> 2,500 views. 200. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the story post, this and that'll gonna be gone. Blow, in that this day. is gonna blow the Sanrio community wide open. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like telling a community something they've, they've known for a long time. They're year. not ready for this news. We're coming after you, Sanrio. Yeah, we are coming after you, Sanrio, because you've sat pretty on those cold finances. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> How much Hello Kitty stuff do you have, Kevin? Well, uh, Gudetama. Is oh, there you go. Yeah. Good oh, Gutama is the little... It's the same universe. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Is that egg? The egg. The egg. sad egg. Sad egg. Yeah. What is the egg, really? Is that That's an egg? Because like, now I can't trust it. It's like a 14-year-old boy from <laughs> Albania. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that egg is an 80-year-old man on a on a bus bench. Uh, well, no, well, no, uh, um, 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 uh, 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 Takes a turn every now and again. I like that the welcome to our podcast sign is not lit up. No. <laughs> That's not what this is. That's not what this is about. Oh, sorry. We do not welcome you to this podcast. That was from the past. I, I see. He's, he's Did you egg. spit on your I computer? Spit on my computer. So he's actually an egg. He's an egg yolk. Specifically. Yes. So what's the <laughs> Mike's got a yoke for you. <laughs> yeah, do. you do a few. <laughs> knock knock. I'm confused about everything we talked about so far today. Let me write this down. Miles, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do you have any fun porta potty stories? Oh, everyone does. Um, I shot a music video in middle school, uh, to tech. Oh, to, in high school, to uh, Kesha's TikTok song. Yes, and um, so ahead of her time. It's so ahead of her time, and part of it introduced us coming out of a porta potty. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's my porta potty. Have you ever um? For lack of a better term, banged in a porta potty? No. no. I can't think of a faster way to get a rash. I've banged <sighs> in a public toilet though. Same. But not in a not in a in a public toilet like uh, like a restaurant like a, toilet? Like yeah. Yeah. What kind of restaurant? I don't want to actually say <laughs> where. You should. Because Can you give like a Ultimate. Unless it's like Discovery Zone or something. Well, cuz it's one of those things <laughs> oh that's like God. I was young. I was pretty young, yeah. Whoa. and it was a stupid thing to do. Yeah, but church. It was at Disneyland. Oh. Whoa, dude, you are not even close to this the is the person. clip. This I know, clip. I know, yeah. but that. But the Get thing is, there. is like, what banned. you don't realize is that's like sex offender yeah. shit. Whoa, oh, is it really? Because you're like yeah. having sex where I'm, children are I'm very sex. close by. Dude, there's a book that's that I have. That's the problem. Called, that's why I didn't want to say it. There's a book <laughs> called the The Dark Side of Disney. Where people talk about where they do drugs and where they fuck in the Disney parks. Yeah. Well, this would, book yeah. has been out for since 2014. Yeah. There's well, so much fun stuff to do there. Why are you going there? To well, do because that? when you're you, young, you riding, you yeah, riding, you're riding, riding hot. hot. Yeah. You're riding yeah. hot. I get up in Craig. You're riding cold. We're actually. riding. <laughs> You've had a Dole Whip. You're young. The testosterone yeah. is just spilling out of you. Your mini ears you're are just dead. fucking rashing you up. And you're got, you got blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. 
It's not, dude. <laughs> Sometimes you need a cold shower. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's really a blizzard. We just. <laughs> Fast lizard. He was like, you opened a window. Yeah. <laughs> Would, you, <laughs> outside, you Would you just have a short weather segment every now and then? How's good. the weather Let's check in with there. outside. With Joey on the weather. Joey on the ones and weathers. But yeah, man, I mean, like, you know, that's the thing is like, you're young and you do stupid things. Sure, yeah, sure. Where you part and, and you got to fuck in the bathroom. I mean, them, what, uh, yeah, yeah the, it's stupid. We had cops I, come. I don't think you should do it. No, you, oh, you should. Bang I'm saying Disney. you should not do that. Definitely not biting credit coaster or the bathroom where the locked. cookie smell oh. is. Um, <laughs> I will say, I uh, when I was in um, uh, also a young dumb stupid junior in high school, I was in the back of my car in a public parking lot in the middle of the daytime, um, getting wild, and uh, a cop pulled up. Had us get out of the car, get dressed. No way, a cop a caught cop you. Cop came up and was like, whoop whoop. And was we the like, car like? In, were you in mid coitus? Yeah, we were mid coit. Yeah. And wow. uh, then the cop came up and was like, Tell the young lady to get her shirt on. Oh my God. And I was like, Okay. But tell her to, tell her to do it in slow. front of the body cam. Yeah, do, do, it it slow. Slow. do it for my body cam. <laughs> tell the young lady to do a little dance. Wow, 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 wow. I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the car asking you hey, to do a little dance. Let me just launch my drone. I'm going to have to ask you for this dance. <laughs> I, he goes, can I have this dance? I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle for this dance. I'm going to have to ask a young lady for a turn. <laughs> and I cut in? Like, you oh. can't. You and then, can't. Uh, but then all the other cops on the radio in small town North Carolina, they were like, heard what was going on. So they all started pulling up. And there was like no. seven cop cars. I bet that's their favorite. Dude, is and it one because... guy just came up and goes... What's going on? <laughs> to me. And I'm like sitting there shirtless being like, we were in the back of my car. And he's like, sorry, man, you got to find a better place. <laughs> wow. They were loving it. Oh, this is a, wow. Time to save up for the motel that we go to to cheat on our wives. <laughs> was this a slap on the wrist kind uh, of situation? Yeah, I was worried they were going to label me a sex offender. Why? Because they could. I they I was seven, could. Because she was a minor. I, think, I, know, well, I was 16. Oh, I was 16 and was she was Disneyland? 17. Whoa. And uh, they just called our parents and uh, they had to talk to our parents. And yeah. our parents were like, okay. And they made a struggle. Wow. Sure. And worse. everything was fine? Everything was fine. So My much of bad. sex happens in a car for so long. Yeah, a lot of it is car for yeah. the big part of the beginning. Yeah, it's your first apartment. Let's cut to a clip. Bullshit anytime during the day. From anyone, that includes me. It's going to be very hot, going to be very uncomfortable for everybody. Want anybody yelling? We get anybody yelling around here anymore today, and then the shit is going to hit the fan. Oh, it's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have so many of these? Making love in a car can be uncomfortable. But maybe choose a bad <laughs> to do it You're the dick and something away from the top. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've had enough. I was saying the wrong thing. It's ad time, baby. What? It's ad time. Ad time shit. Oh, you guys do these live. Let's fucking go. Dude. Do you want me to do dates before or after? Do the dates right now. Oh, you motherfuckers. I'm in New York City. 16th, 18th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. I'm at the stand comedy it's club. Been, it's been my favorite <laughs> week in New York City. On the 12th. <laughs> of July, uh, there's a huge surrounded crowd work show happening in the main room of the Hollywood Improv. I know about half the lineup right now, and let me tell you, it's gonna sell out. It's one of the best lineups we've had in a long time. It's gonna be so fucking funny. Thank you, Miles. Really keep it down over there, though. It's so disrespectful. On the 26th is the next human romance dating show at the Comedy Store up there in the belly room. That's gonna be fucking awesome. Listen, it's late night, Friday night on the 26th. If you're single, Get your ass out there. Uh, me, Rachel Scanlon, and Laura Peak. I'm there with all my favorite people. It's so much fun. Dude, the last three times we've done this show, people are hanging out and mingling deep into the night. I They're love like hanging that. out in the parking lot, that's getting awesome. to know each that's other. The, it's that's what awesome. you want. Uh, August 9th, San Diego, mic drop. August 29th, surrounded in San Jose. Get tickets for that. Big old improv. We need to fill it up. October 6th, Cleveland. October 9th, Boston. October 10th, Brooklyn. November 1st and 2nd, Tikiyama Comedy Club. 
<laughs> Third, Spokane Comedy Club. Then go to dynamicbanter.merch to see our two new shirts, comedy record vinyl for the first time anywhere. Steve has a hat being made up that says hat. It says hat. What Based off of oh, that hat. Crop top hoodie for um, the our more thoughty fans. Hell yeah. And also, we're working on a monthly promo code or and or specific merch for the Patreon. Kevin has been killing Patreon content. By the time this is up, is the QVC thing out yet? Maybe. We've been talking about this for weeks, <laughs> and it's not out, but it's going to be so fucking good. Jack Me and Steve have been working on a lot of Patreon content. Miles is here. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's it for the announcements. Come Bit see me live. Ting. Bit of a pingy ting. We're going golfing with Steve's dad. And we're going golfing with Steve's we're dad. Going golfing with Speaking dad. Of, and that's a $30 tier. That's going to be crazy. And for $30 a month, you can go golfing with Steve's dad. <laughs> And I don't know if you've never heard, but there's a thing out there we love called Squarespace. Squarespace. So H about Squarespace. I'm, 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 I'm losing my mind. Because if you need a website, I'm not thinking of anything else other than Squarespace. <laughs> they paid us not to even think about it. I'm paid not to think about anything else. But I'll tell you, Mike Falzone has a website called you're, MikeFalzone.com. You're 100% right. That is the website. And it's wonderful. It's where you can go to see where that boy's going to be. What's he doing? Where am I? It has a live feed to where I'm at. at Are you time. wondering what Mike's doing? Go to MikeFalzone.com. It's a Squarespace website. And that is the proof that we're not just paid to say you should try it. One of us uses the heck out of it. Yeah. And loves it. I'm paying them. We kind of break even. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like legitimately one of our one most wonderful sponsors. And Mike loves it. And if I ever need a website, I'll tell you where I'm going. Sk uh, Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> what is so if you want to see what we're talking about, go to squarespace.com. <laughs> Get a free trial. Trial it out. <laughs> Get your hands dirty. You don't need to install nothing. It's all on your phone even. Set up a professional looking website on your phone. How about that? We're living in the future. So you can go to squarespace.com to try that out. And then go to squarespace.com slash banter. And you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com for the free trial. And squarespace.com slash banter to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you to Squarespace. Thank you, Squarespace. Thank you, Five. Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. Love Fortnite. Do you love Fortnite? Fuck yeah, I dude. love it. You gotta get it. Fortnite is good again, guys. Dude, this season is so fucking fun, Mike. I, I Fortnite, like, I was off for a while, but then they they t made Zero Build, and I'm so back. Dude, in. Zero Build is the best. It's so fun. Get and me, get me back in, Mike. Get back in, baby, because we're driving. It's like twisted metal, and we're bonking into boys. <laughs> Me and Ninja quit at the same time. I, I said, know. if Ninja's out, I'm out. A personal friend? Ninja. I know all about Ninja. Ninja was upset little that about these me. cars were ruining their little e-boy tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get Ninja on this show. Dude. Oh, I'll yeah, you know what? Let's call out Ninja. Let's start a beef with oh, Ninja. Oh, that's a good clip. I'm calling out Ninja. Okay, now what's next? And you know why? Because <coughs> that mother trucker, he took away some of the funnest moments I've had in Fortnite in a very long time. Why did he take because away? Because he was upset about these car vroom vrooms mm. that were slamming into his builds and Does... ruining his money. Dude, they make so much motherfucking money playing that goddamn game. Oh, yeah. What and a privilege. What? What I know. a it's... privileged thing to do in the most privileged place on he earth. He cried about and it. And so funny. He Dude, did. legitimately, <laughs> utmost sympathy for everyone. I don't want to fuck with anyone's money, but to be very <laughs> upset about how your job is playing video games is an insane it thing. It is insane. No, people That's are an insane in thing. the head, yeah. And yeah. guess what? His crybaby tears went all the way to <laughs> Epic Servers. 
and shorted out the electricity and made a bunch of nerfs on our cool shit. Whoa. Ninja nerfed Fortnite. Ninja yeah. nerfed this season of Fortnite, which I think is the funnest season of Fortnite in a long time. Hell yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people are upset about it and hate it, and it's the lowest numbers they've had for a season. That's too bad. Because Dang. people don't like the carve rooms, but I think it's so fun. I'm having yeah. the most fun with it's so fun. Spider Man, I like the Spider Man glove season. That was really that good. That was for me. so tight. That but was like when I kind of got back in after being away for a while. We had like, do you remember the UFOs? Did you get on the UFOs yeah, season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. UFOs, you remember that? We would like pick up cars and throw them so into the fun. storm. Yeah. That was the funnest shit. And the tanks, I always love the mobility shit. And yeah. like, the cars right now, you add all these things to it. Like you crash into these power up boxes and your car has like fucking guns and shit in the front. You can like, it comes down to the last like five people and you're in the little circle and you're just fucking doing wheelies on your cars, trying to hit each other and destroy mm. each other. And it's really like a last man standing. It's like thing. Demolition Derby. I do it's love like the Twisted Metal. Yeah, thing. I like yeah. that. I like all the IP they put in there. Me too. I think I hear they're adding Greta Thunberg to Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Greta, Greta Audio. That'd be Fire. great. <laughs> and there's an emo where the police take her away. They come and they pull her away. That's true. And she poses for a photograph. And people who like her a lot come and throw soup on your avatar. Right. That would be funny. She's an eco warrior. Dude, I think it's stupid we don't have like Beethoven and Lincoln and like. Dude, oh, like why don't Lincoln to Fortnite? Would like, be why don't we have it? I want it. Do it for father, like founding fathers. Oh, that they've got to be have that in the right. Can, right? Come on, I'll, I'll make you a deal right now. If they put Trump and Biden in, <laughs> I'll come back. Oh, by the way, that'll, <laughs> that would never. That would be the weirdest discourse. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the clip. Trump fucking nailing everyone, and Biden's like, <laughs> "What would the? Yeah, they had to add special guns." As Dude, well this is the emo. The... This is the Biden emo. <laughs> He's just stuck. You can uh, storm the <laughs> Capitol in four days. <laughs> you can't storm the. There's the new the point Capitol of interest. Is the Capitol? <laughs> yeah. You can break in and take selfies. In Nancy there. Pelosi's desk is like something you throw down. <laughs> take selfies with. There's a quest. Nancy Pelosi's to, desk <laughs> you bounce off of it somehow. There's a quest to steal a laptop in there. All there's, right. There's the guy with the horns, and he's like Dave yeah. doing that little disco grenade. The guy with the horns is in the shop. They got that Fifteen hundred EV bucks. I've been playing UFC Five. And I don't know how I could be so bad at something and have such a high fun mm. replay value. Really? Like if you look at my, they give you like a fight history mm -hmm. and there's a little red or green next to the fights that you've won or lost. <laughs> and it's red down the oh, line. Oh, devastating. It's like, it's like when you go to the airport and everything's delayed. That's <laughs> what my fight oh. history looks like. And, uh. I, but I still love it so much. I just made Macho Man Randy Savage. Dude, I love it. And love he it. has like this like glittery jumpsuit on. <laughs> wow. And he gets the piss beaten out of him. You gotta, and it I is realistic. It. You got to oh. do post clips or something. Yeah, dude. Gamer been, clips? Yeah. Uh, let, let me get through this last ad here. Oh, and sorry. Can, and I forgot we're on. doing. <laughs> There's just one more yeah, ad. Just one more piece of business. Guys, rocket money. Pew, pew, I'm going to the moon and I'm scared. <laughs> Somebody help Steve. Someone help him. I'm not meant to go to the moon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's going to be a problem for NASA, I think. Yeah. Is that what's written? That is what's written in this copy. It's crazy. Uh, it says, That's do wild. a bit where you are, you I'm won't scared to go. Scared to go. To <laughs> I'm scared. In order to get paid in full from this ad, you, you have to do a bit where you're scared, you're of, going scared of going to the moon. <laughs> Guys, uh, hey, do you have any subscriptions <laughs> that you're probably paying for that you had no idea you were paying for and you're like, oh, dang it. Yeah. And you're looking at your dang bank account and you're like, whoa, where do those charges come from? Well, Rocket Money Let's is go. here to help you with these things so because real. Rocket Money finds the su subscriptions you might have forgotten that you have and we'll show it to you and get rid of it if you want. That's how it works. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? I'm excited. <laughs> and 
Rocket Money is a what? Let's get down brass tacks here, guys. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. So you can grow your savings. Isn't that nice? Yes. And with Rocket Money, you got full control over your subscriptions and a clear view of your expenses. And there's a dashboard that's super easy to use that shows you your month spending compared to last month. So you can see those spending habits. You can create a custom budget and keep your spending on track. Rocket Money's here to help you. Even negotiate lower bills for you by up to 20%. And all you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Look at that. It's going off to space. And then 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 <laughs> At Rocket Money, I want it now. I'll pay good money for it. I'll do a free Rocket Money ad to get that video. Uh, so anyway, guys, we've said so many things about Rocket Money, and they have over five million users and have saved a total of five hundred million dollars in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to seven hundred and forty dollars a year when you use the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash banter. That's rocketmoney.com slash banter. Thank you, Rocket Money. Great job, yeah. Steve. Thank you. Woo! We're having a good time. <laughs> There's no real rhyme or reason for any of it. I love it. Can I do dates real quick? Please, I'd love it. In July, it'll be hotter. Let's check in it's with the snowstorm. Bad. Anyway, we're having a great time. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. Today, um, the second part of the show is normally when we read these things called History Roads. Oh. History Roads are uh, questions, stories sent in by the audience mm. to give us a little glimpse into the history of the audience. Oh, wow. And so we thought, since you have your podcast, Perfect Person, That's right. which I've been on, thank yes. you so much for having Absolutely. me on. Absolutely. You're so great at... Uh, at fielding questions from your studio audience and that's it that'll that'll do it for us <laughs> so, so, so. that's the end that's it yeah so i'm great i'm great i feel like yeah i, I stopped <laughs> you said i was great and then and i was I stopped out. listening um we thought maybe you could help us answer some questions because you're so great at answering questions i would love nothing more okay i found out long ago it's a long way down the history road. Kevin, I said grab five of the longest ones you can find. <laughs> this is like when you get ate by that the monster at the end of Ski Free. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is the age cutoff. Steve, do you know what Ski Free is? Yeah, with the snowman or yeah. the abominable snowman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. Whoops. Back when games were hard to have. Yeah. The family computer would have a game on the Windows called Ski Free. And it was one of like three games. Solitaire, mm. I think, was another one. Snood, and maybe. Mind Sweep. Mind Sweep. Mm. Or Mind Sweeper or whatever. Yeah. But Ski Free was... The, like a little, you'd ski down a mountain and you had to avoid this like uh, abominable smell. There's like real anxiety involved in that game. Yeah. There's, I saw a TikTok post that was like, this is why all millennials have anxiety. And it was like <laughs> things like ski free. It was yeah. um, Operation. Yeah, Don't like, Wake Daddy. Don't Wake Daddy. Oh, yeah, right. All of our games were like very specific. Yeah. Like, if you don't do this within a certain amount of time, something terrible Crocodile is Crocodile Dentist. Crocodile Dentist. Crocodile. I never played that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. They took it off the market. That one was Damn. chopping kids' little pinkies off. <laughs> 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 this episode is brought to you by Crocodile Dentist. 
dentist. Go get your kids around it. <laughs> you keep touching this dial. You touch this dial like a thousand times. <laughs> it is a lot. How is the setup not convincing that this should be set? You come well, over and just because, give it a little touch. Because <laughs> every five seconds. Listen, the truth is, Miles. Yeah. There's no consistency with the levels on any thing that happens over here. That's Something correct. Something okay. might be loud as a motherfucker, <laughs> and I got to be ready to not hurt Mike yes. or our audience. Because it's see. been a thing for eight years. This this is a setup? This All setup. I see. Everything see. you see has been Pull an issue for eight years. This is an eight-year... <laughs> yeah, you were going to leave it here. This is the eight-year anniversary of all the issues that we have. <laughs> <laughs> we need a theme. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a theme song? <laughs> What's that? All right. We got something here from Kyle. Let's but go. before you do that, on July, <laughs> July 16th... It's bad. Yeah. Kyle, does he? <laughs> Kyle, dog. Can I tell you something yeah, crazy? Yeah. yeah. John Travolta was at the fucking comedy store what? last week. Really? Whoa. Whoa. And Just I watching saw him with my eyes. Was he doing stand-up? What was he, he was hanging out with Tommy Lee. Who was also at the fucking comedy store last with, week? Just to watch comedy? To watch his wife, Brittany Furlong. Oh. oh. Okay. That's right. Dang. I was in the same building. That's crazy. As does he. And. As does he. My good buddy. <laughs> our very does he. Comedian, our very own. John does he. <laughs> Josh oh. Potter was Please there. Please welcome. Comedian Josh no Potter. No shit. That's and crazy. Josh Potter was so excited that John Travolta was in the building. And he goes, I want to talk to him. And somebody else was like, well, I think he's leaving. And then Josh goes, we would be really good friends. He would be like, hey, Mr. Patier. <laughs> and no one laughed. And I have thought about it every day since he, he said it. it in front of John Travolta. No, no, no. Or in he front he just of all your said friends. It. He said it in front of a bunch of people who did not laugh. Dude. And oh, I was like, God. fuck. That was so quick and so funny and so fast. It's such an old reference. Yeah. And uh, I just want to publicly give him props on a thing that he won't hear about a funny thing that he said. You've touched a million buttons and nothing yeah. happened. <laughs> you went to start something and then yeah. clapped and then, I love yeah. that. I was checking back in with myself for it be nicer. <laughs> what a mess. Somebody get a mop for this show. Because I'm wet. Damn it. <laughs> Mayor! Did no you see way. that there's a new Alien movie coming out? Do you like the Alien movies? I love the Alien movies as much as I like doing pill drugs in my office. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I'm, someone's giving you a call, Mayor. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta get my happy pen. You're getting an happy pen. You must be allergic to peanuts. We need a theme song. <laughs> What a mess. How many people do now? <laughs> Ten minutes ago. I was how many people do now? How seven do you, years how ago. How do you imagine people? Do you think that they're oh. like it's like old radio style? They're sitting on the couch. <laughs> Josh, 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 can I tell you that we've had in-depth conversations <laughs> to the point oh. where people write in and tell us? Oh yeah. About oh, like of a guy driving <laughs> <laughs> with all these like horrible sounds. <laughs> you just you <laughs> were serious. It's my <laughs> favorite. <That's> so funny. <laughs> This is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> we should we should have for for the uh, Patreon. Shout out to the Patreon real quick. <laughs> That's a cool place, isn't it? And Mike? Now we're in. That we're in. Uh, but we should print. We should give people print out a bowl. Yeah. Like little dynamic banter, like things you could put on your like aspirin bottle. <laughs> You're thinking of stickers. You, yeah. No, or like you just out cut, of or you just cut a piece of you, you know cut a piece of paper, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Add a piece of tape to the top of it. Yeah, yeah, but a little, yeah. Well, I don't know, man. I, I, sure. If you have the ways, if we have a way. <laughs> we can make if the technology okay, exists, okay, fine. Right. We put out a cool <laughs> sticker. sticker. Yeah. And it'll have like fake nutrition information, and then have like a fake description, and it could just be like for when the noises are just too much. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the dynamic. Yeah. yeah. 
DB Profen. <laughs> <laughs> Good bet. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle came in with his trumpet. <laughs> he just Ooh. popped up in a little, little door. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's so short. short. And then he has to get going. One second he has long. a long drive. Okay, let's get to this history road. <sighs> Kyle says, when is it okay to write someone off? Hmm. As a tax? Thing? Yeah. In the tax form. <laughs> hey, Hornborn boys. Second time, long time. Oh, we got to have a little horn for the boy. <laughs> I was listening to episode 416, and you guys were talking about olds and how people shouldn't just hate on them because they'll be old soon as well. Yeah. With any luck. I'm 30 and, with, uh, and work with the elderly on a regular basis. And while definitely some are just old kids, teens, etc., some people, regardless of wisdom and age, are just dicks for no reason. That's true. There's always a reason. <clears throat> I agree with the sentiment that people are worthy of forgiveness and can grow. But how many chances slash mistakes before you're mm, done, young or old, how do you navigate a world or random chance and be kind to all when some people just aren't worth your energy? Dude, in all honesty... Welcome back. <laughs> back to the show. Not I yet. think my answer to this would have been way different 10 years ago. And then I think being older and being more mature is knowing that there's always a reason somebody's upset. Agreed. No yeah. one's ever upset for no reason, whether the reason is like good or bad. Yeah, right. But there's always a reason. But I think there's the difference between like understanding and accepting why someone is the way they is. But also... Uh, but also, like, uh, if they're at an age where they're, like, old as fuck, yeah. Yeah. are you like, is this person's not going to change? Yeah, well, it's like, Vegeta is mad because he, like, was supposed to be the number one Saiyan. Exactly. And then he becomes friends with the whole gang. Exactly. He's talking about the dragon's ball. Oh, but I'm also HBO. hurt, hurt people, it... squirt people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yes. I think it's like if you have, if you're an old. Also, you can't change the elderly. Like that's what I'm that's saying. That's the thing is specifically with older people, you just got to take them at what they are. I think that sometimes people are like, well, I'm gonna teach my like 70 year old grandma to not be fucking problematic. <laughs> but, like, I, yeah. Probably you should just like kind of like separate the art from the artist. Yeah. Because like, it's, it's, your yeah. grandma's gonna be dead soon. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And that and because and that's what Kyle's asking here is like. How many chances slash mistakes before you're done? And I think if they're yeah. like at a certain age and they refuse to change, regardless of what you know they're dealing with, because you can see someone dealing with something really hard or understand why someone is behaving the way they are mm. because of whatever, but it's on them to like make a change if people around them make it aware that they have some changeable attitude or something. Yeah. But it's up to them to change. And if they're not willing to change by the time they're like fucking 80, they're probably not going to change. I mean, I don't know, man. There should be an age cutoff. A lot yeah. of people don't change by the time they're 40. I know, I know. Yeah. And but but there's people that are like, I'm working on myself, I'm trying. Yeah. And then there's people that are like, no, no, no. I, I, I got my shit together. I've got it figured out. Oh, those people are the biggest psychopaths. So. Right, right. Because it's like, well, you're not willing to see what's wrong. Yeah. And you'll never be willing to see what's wrong. Right. That's so, all like, I think that there's a big, there's an article I read, uh, and by that I meant I saw a TikTok. Um, <laughs> but it was just about like. That's very brave. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but I think it's like, there's a trend. Them. There's a trend these days to be like, oh, like these toxic people, I'm cutting them out of my life. And I think that it's actually really bad for culture. And I hopefully yeah. there will be a redirect where like in the 2000s, I feel like people were just like, yeah, this is my friend. Like <clears throat> he's like kind of an asshole sometimes. And like, that's actually okay. Like people should be fallible. Yeah. I also heard a great quote recently that like, I don't know if someone's like murdering your family, you probably shouldn't be friends with them. But like, you should they're not like, be friends with they're them. like, a, like they're problematic because they're like, oh, like they're anxious and they get mad about something that they probably shouldn't be mad about. But like, it's like people are fallible because I'm so fallible. Sure. Everyone else should be allowed to be fallible. Also, I heard this great quote um, on TikTok uh, from an article, a documentary I watched, was... <laughs> <laughs> TikTok of somebody reading an article? Yeah, <laughs> who read something? <laughs> but it was that community is the place where conflict is tolerated. Mm. And I thought that was really interesting because it's like, 
if uh, you in a community, if you have a group of friends or whatever, there's conflict. That conflict should be tolerated and yeah, like you shouldn't just out. run away. You shouldn't from run it. away from it. And like the people you love most, those are people that you, if you have a disagreement or something that's wronging you, whatever, you try to talk it out. You try to come to a conclusion because uh, it's important to work through that stuff. I love that you that you see that as a good perspective because you're raising a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good teaching for a child to know mm -hmm. is that because every generation, I hope, learns a little something from the other generation yeah. and then filters out some of the bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think it is important that, like, because we were taught to just be like, you could cut someone out of your life or you can, like, right. yeah. ignore a bully or whatever. Sure. Every time I see a TikTok or something that's like, all these toxic people in my life or all the, or is pointing at a celebrity and being like, whatever, my first thought, and it didn't start like this, but I've been conditioned to think, like, What's your thing? Yeah, right. Like, I'm so <clears throat> weary of like, you know those green screen TikToks where it's like a picture of a celebrity <laughs> yeah. and then some guy pops in the corner oh, and is like, this fucking piece of shit. I'm like, yeah. who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I'm fully aware that Robert Downey Jr. or whatever the fuck, like just pick anybody. Yeah. yeah. I don't mean to shit on Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> he's great in Iron Man. Yeah, <laughs> he has been a full Iron Man. He's an Iron <laughs> it's Man. It's tough to get your feelings out of an Iron Man. man. But uh, whatever, <laughs> I'm always like, who the fuck is this loser in the corner yeah, right. to be like, let's take down this monster. I'm like, what is your deal that you feel like you have to come on the internet? Well, and be like, it's interesting because Mike, you and I were talking about this whole like conflict thing, friendship thing, mm -hmm. relationship thing before the show started what if we, we said all of our personal stuff at the end yeah of the right like this is, yeah this is now that's the clip <laughs> but we were just talking about how like you know how you can cut someone out of your life for a time yeah mm -hmm. sure or just like keep distance is keep okay distance, yeah. but exactly. I, to me I, I, I advice i give on my show perfect person podcast mm. but uh cut is that uh cut it cut it <laughs> cut it um blow it make it louder <laughs> louder it. than everything yeah, exactly <laughs> Um, but uh, is often people are like, I have this toxic friend or whatever. Like, should I be like, you're toxic and I'm cutting. And often my advice is like, actually just slowly take a little bit of distance. Yeah. You don't even have to make people aware that they are like at odds with you. It, Cause to me, friendship is long. And like, if someone's going through something then sometimes I'll just be like, all right, like me and this person aren't really getting along right now, but it's not something so intense that I need right. to like, a, like let's have a big habit out. You can figure yeah, out on your bottle. own for a yeah. little bit. We right. were literally talking about that. And, and I was like, how much of your bandwidth and your like street fire, street fighter energy bar <laughs> do you have left to, to right. be in this conflict or a complicated mm -hmm. If it there, because there is conflict in the and this is still kind of related to Kyle's history road in some way because who's Kyle? Kyle's the guy that was like, how do you handle olds? Also, yeah. I I want to make it clear that I'm not saying legit forgot about Kyle, <laughs> and I'm not saying like who the fuck are you, Kyle, to say like if, you know? <laughs> yeah, you oh, totally. You just didn't remember. The conversation has evolved. We're all over the place here. Yeah. That's what it is. I'm Kyle's, not the Kyle's the problem. Kyle's the problem. But no, no. But but the point is, is that like. You know, there, it's there's a lot of nuance in relationships, whether they're yeah. friendship based or romantic based or whatever. Yeah, and it's so much more fulfilling if you just take the time, especially if you know a relationship is worth taking the time to fix. Yeah, right. And you'll know if there are repeat offenses in friendships that just don't stop mm -hmm. and don't come with someone trying to better themselves or help themselves yeah. then it's okay to be like i'm gonna dip out for mm. a little bit yes. while you figure your shit out totally. yeah. and then i'll be back around for some fun times later right. but there's those it's <clears throat> almost like these different compartments where like these are the friends that you kind of keep at a distance mm -hmm. and these are the friends that are close and the ones you can trust and are worth putting these types of work into yeah and it's okay oh well I, I, advice i give a lot also is like people are afraid of confrontation so Somebody be like, someone said something and it really fucking hurt my feelings. It was totally flippant and rude. Like, what should I do? Like, I'm thinking about dropping this person from my life. And I'm like, you should probably be like, hey, like that hurt my feelings. Mm -hmm. Like, and because I think people are mind more blown, mind blown because they're more like, uh, I uh, went to Quaker school, like K through 12. Can you say that? Can you say yeah, Quaker? 
Sorry, can, can I? Can I'm allowed to. It's my sign. culture, it's not your costume. <laughs> right. People are, live in silence. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, a lot of it is like about conflict resolution. And that is something that I feel like I did gain, glean from that environment was just like, it's good to just address stuff in an empathetic way. Like, hey, you said this thing, and I'm sure you didn't mean it to, but it did hurt my feelings. Yeah, even if it's yeah. uncomfortable yeah, or whatever. Right. And it can be. And that's what causes people to kind of hide behind not having those types of conversations. But yeah. at least they'll know. But they'll you know, know. At least it's out there, and you can't really expect somebody, someone to change just because they're aware of a problem. Yeah, and I and, yeah. and I also have friends that like aren't super open about their personal deep feelings. Yeah. But they express that they need help in certain ways, in their own ways that like takes time to learn to navigate, but are is worth like learning. Because those friendships and relationships are, you know, valuable. They make you a better person. They yeah. they help you learn all those things. Right. And so it's it's okay to have friends that you can be like super deep with, and then friends that you can't be super deep with, but you still have a want to have a meaningful relationship with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Nick. Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Your friend Let's Nick. call it. Let's go for it. But yeah, the. Um... <laughs> This is his phone. This is Skype. Yeah. This is We're calling him on Skype. It does sound like Skype. This can't be. <laughs> Hi, Nick. You're on Dynamic Banter. Hello. I just want to... Easy does it. I just wanted to say, Nick... <laughs> That no matter what you're going through, we're, I'm, we're here for you. Me, Stephen yeah. Miles. Yeah. I'm here for you, Nick. Who's, who else is here for me? Miles is here. I'm here, Nick. Our, our friend Miles is here, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hello, Miles. And we're just, we're here for you. We're here for you, Nick. Do you have any other friends named after units of measurement? That's really not, funny stuff, Nick. Thanks. That's not really, come on, Nick. He's a guest in my house. He's a good one. And I just want to say, no matter what you're going through, we're here. Whatever you need, okay. Nick. Whenever you need it. Whenever you need it. And that's a good lesson to keep. And now he knows, now that. He knows that. And he all knows we that. have to do is tell him, and yeah. now he knows. All right, Kyle. I hope that helped navigate, <laughs> help you navigate. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Kyle. Thanks for calling in, Kyle. Quick reminder that that was from Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. All right. Any other ones? Let's do one more. All right. Let's do one more. Let's see where we're going. Are we going to the jungle? <laughs> I don't know. We might be around the corner. Are we going to the jungle? Mike, let's go to the jungle! Let's go to the jungle! <laughs> there we are amongst the trees. Here we are. Kevin, are you having a good day? Yeah. Let's go, Kevin. Are great, you okay? great job, Kevin. You're killing it. You doing okay? I'm just tired. Kevin scraped his little arm. Kevin, show oh, the what camera happened? your arm. He, was you bounder, he was boundering. Kevin was digging through the trash Bound? for food. He's out Bound? there. You, oh, you know, these kids go out there boundering. Boundering? On, they're on TikTok. Do you know any bounders? What the hell is and they, boundering? What they do is hand, they, fucking, oh, bouldering? bouldering? That's the one. Yeah. Are you, sorry, are you doing like parkour? No boundering. He's just boundering. <laughs> All right. He does boundering. Miles, he's boundering. He's boundering. <laughs> okay, now drop it. Drop it. Let's drop Stop it. Stop talking about the boundary. He's boundering. <laughs> and yeah, very good. good. <laughs> very good. Very appropriate and good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, what a fun ebb and flow we've had. Uh, Ruben. Says that's the tallest cup ever, by the way. I just want to stop. It is a tall, tall cup. cup. That is a very like a, tall cup. Really tall cup. Yes. Is it all? Does it go all the way down, or is there like it goes a, all the way in? All right. <laughs> <Does it cover? laughs> From the <laughs> <laughs> down that cup. That's a tall drink of water. If I <laughs> <laughs> Ruben say statement on behalf of booger eaters everywhere. Ooh. Everywhere. This is probably gonna get interesting. Yucky. What do you feel about booger eaters? Well, I think it's something that is uh, probably like nasty to do. Yeah, I'm a no, I'm a, I pick my nose. Yeah, but you just never, never eat them. Oh, yeah, I'm not eating, eating it. You're not eating the boys. I'm not eating the boys. No, <laughs> I'm eating right. my boys. You're letting the boys go. But I'm letting the boys. Say, I'm setting them free. <laughs> I'm wiping them on a napkin. I'm sure. wiping them el elsewhere. But I'm to eat them would be remit. I would be remiss to eat them. Isn't that crazy to think? 
And that so, you, <laughs> yeah. Please. Is it not crazy to think <laughs> that you made a son and yeah. you also make boogers? That that's interesting. In a way, my son is my biggest booger. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it also to eat your boogers is actually not that gross because you're kind of eating them in the back. Okay, but you know we've let's, been, let's we've been that talking about sit for a second. Okay. Yeah. I eat it from the front, so I see it from the back. Is right? this like wiping front here. to back? Yeah. Is more. Yeah. You wipe into out back with to front. Yeah. When you swallow, you go. Yeah. <laughs> you just ate your booger. Yeah, from the back. From the back. <laughs> Who's that? Hi, is this Nick Hamilton? Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Nick. We're here on your own dynamic banter. Welcome. How are you, buddy? I'm good, Steve. First off, I want to say uh, happy, happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. It was my birthday this past weekend. And well, you're welcome. Thank you, my boy. That's very nice of you. Can I tell you something else? Yes. Um, I just want to let you know that, you know, whatever you're going through. <laughs> oh. I'm uh, I'm here for you. He's paying it forward. Whatever, whenever you want, I'm I'm here for you. Whatever you're going oh. through. Well, that's really nice of you, Nick. And I want you to know the same for you. Whatever you need okay. and whenever you need it, I'm here for you. That's nice, Steve. Can you? Uh, is Mike there? Yeah, Mike's here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. here. And Miles, <laughs> Miles is here too. Oh, Miles. Hey, Nick. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Hi, hi, Miles. I just wanted to let you know uh, that I'm not, I'm not gonna be there when if you want me, I'm not. It's hey, good Nick. To set uh, the feelings. Be it's good to set he boundaries. Up. He yeah. set boundaries. By the way, hitting the milk ceiling on how much milk I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I took a sip and I thought, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> too much. Too much. Just one too many. I, if you ever come back, and yeah. I hope you will. Oh, you have only milk? Only milk. <laughs> Does it, do you think you the subscribe milk, to that? Yeah. Do you think the milk thing is a bit of gripping onto your youth a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> do I think I'm a man child because I like to sip milk? Yeah. As I'm an adult man. Uh, that's interesting. Take all the time you want to think about uh, it. Like, let me take a sec. Don't play it. <laughs> Uh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Guys, Ruben has something to say for the booger eaters. Hi, howdy, Mike and Steve. And Who's this, Kevin? After your recent Ruben. episode discussing boogers, I felt the need to clear some of the air for us booger eaters. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. First of all... <laughs> I'm listening. It. We want you to do a joke shop. <laughs> First of all, if you eat boogers within eyesight of other people, Dog, imagine someone's <laughs> into a room into a town hall meeting. <laughs> I have something to say on behalf of all booger eaters. And then it's silent. And then... <gasps> okay. Uh, okay, what do you want, Ruben? A little bit more. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. So if you eat boogers with an eyesight of other people, that's gross as hell. Let's get that squared away, okay? Uh-huh. We're on the same page. But second of all, much like you mentioned with Hakka Nalugi, it's the same material. I do get how it leaving the confines of the body makes it seem more gross. Mm. But at that point, the grossness is purely based on appearances rather than hygiene. Take another sip of milk. You know what this is like? <laughs> this is this the milk is making me phlegmy, and I swallowed a little phlegm. And I thought, oh. You know what this is That's like? Disgusting. This is like the whole hair in your food, oh, hair yeah. on your head mm-hmm. yeah. thing. Like you'll eat hair off someone's head, but you won't eat it. Yeah, off you can't make like, them yeah, drink. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you want to eat it off their head, but you have to wait for it to fall out. <laughs> you have to kind of, and that's what being you an gotta adult have to just is. Wait, yeah. yeah. I got you, a bacon one time in Amsterdam, and it was all hair. What you got? I got a bacon. I got bacon. In you what do you mean it was all? It was just. It was a plate of hair. Wait a minute. <laughs> I got Hold like, on. I got like a bacon and eggs or something, and then it came in the bacon. Was just wrapped in fried hair, <laughs> and I looked up at the guy who was cooking and what he was surprised at me, and he Bald. was just no, he had a he lot just, of he hair. Was, he was cutting his hair, hair while and he was... I was like, "Yep, that's the guy." He was doing a little trim while yeah. he's flipping the bacon. <laughs> it was so much hair, I did wonder, like, did he do this on purpose? Whoa. Uh, no, but so. it, but that's the thing. It's like this person is saying. <laughs> 
the grossness is based on the appearance rather than the hygiene. He says, to me, it's simply a matter of I don't carry tissues around. And to be frank, if I did, having to grab it, put the booger in it, and either putting the booger tissue back in my pocket or throwing it out immediately seems icky and wasteful. Throwing away a tissue seems icky and wasteful. For every yeah. booger? I thought he was saying, uh, put the booger in the tissue, then I eat that. <laughs> yeah, eat the tissue. <laughs> I wrap that at yeah. the bottom. I that get a cupcake. Bit. I wrap the tissue Slurp in the cupcake. I eat the whole cupcake. And that's, um, that's... Dude, can I be? Can I disrespectfully hard disagree? Sure, there's the more to the yeah. email, Oh, though. good. And, but you can you can jump in with some thoughts before we. Those continue. are my thoughts. Okay, he says I also don't want to wipe it on my clothes, and especially wouldn't want to flick the booger, what? dude. Also, like asking, what? talking like we're asking him to wipe it on his clothes. Yeah, we're not. Please we're have some respect and wipe it on your clothes. <laughs> and they're saying that they admit that's even more gross. Why does he want to flick it? I don't get that. Well, there's. I think what he's saying is going through all the options of how to get rid of a booger, he's going through a and they're time. all yeah. inconvenient to him. And says, "I feel like you should only be allowed to flick boogers outside. If you do yes. it inside, you get arrested." Okay. Anyway, it's just become such a reflexive movement since childhood. I don't even think about it anymore. Eating your boogers is <clears throat> flicking them the most inside you could possibly eat. <laughs> inside inside the, your body. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It, Double it's, it's worse than inside the apartment. It's also yes. it's when it when it hits the air, it crystallizes. It does. Crystallize. So it's like you're eating a but sort of a nugget. But that's where the crisp comes from. Oh. I also don't really have an issue with people finding it gross though, because I guess I, it kind of is. But of all gross things someone could be doing, I really feel like this is on the lower end of the scale. There's, and again, that's under the presumption you're not doing it in front of other people. So anyway, thank you for hearing me out. Have a lovely rest of your day, Hong Kong, and shout out to Denny's or something like you know, that. You know how you <laughs> you know how you could tell that eating boogers is gross with your eyes. Yeah. And then also the way it makes your stomach feel. And then also the fact that there's always a deflection from the booger eater. Hmm. No argument, no pro booger eating argument has ever been void of deflection. There's You're always right. at right. the end, there's always like, well, at least it's not as gross as like killing someone. I, <laughs> yeah, mean, I guess that's gross. <laughs> the thing is, is like, we might do some gross shit that other people are like, yeah, I do that too. But I guess I've never thought about how gross it is. Mm. Like jizzing into a sock. But like, you're washing the sock. Right, but that's that You're like, not eating the sock. I've never I've never understood the jizzing into the sock thing. Same. And it's such a huge part of like culture. Cum culture. <laughs> My cum isn't your culture. My cum is not your culture. <laughs> now My when, cost cum. <laughs> when I need a pair of scissors. And I don't have, I mean, it's not near me. <laughs> when you need a pair of scissors. Wait, what music was this? It was, not that. It, was it was like something we said. What was this it was song? Like, yeah. <laughs> what were we saying? <laughs> what the fuck Shit. were we saying? God. My brain sucked. <laughs> anyway. That was a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs> what a weird way to end. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to, to end it with the uh, what the fuck? What song was, was that? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? The fuck was that? Thank you for being on this. Dude, yeah, absolutely so a pleasure. Fun. Thank you guys. That was so fun.